Yes, sir, ski people. You already know what the deal is, what it is, what it do. Thank you for coming back for another motherfucking video, you know what I'm saying? We're coming down to, like, the last couple strands, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna keep these bad boys rolling because submissions are due on the 7th. So I gotta be done with this and put all my final results by the 7th, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta keep these back to back, back to back, you know what I'm saying? Back to back. Let's go ahead and just reach in here and pick out a new strength to smoke on for today. Boom. Let's see what we got here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got some motherfucking Verano. Let's see what we got today. We got some Cherry Gorilla. Boom. Cherry Gorilla always has some nice dense nugs. You know what I'm saying? I've had some mixed results. I had a really good batches of Cherry Gorilla, and I only had one bad batch of Cherry Gorilla. You know what I'm saying? Verano is kind of eh, hit or miss, really, dude. I, people really know about Verano and how they've been fucking up lately. If you guys don't know, just Google Verano and bad reviews. You know what I'm saying? And you'll find out for yourselves. But yeah, it's just like people... They, ha they have good strains, like good genetics and stuff, but like, they just don't push them to the max as they can be, you know what I'm saying, to the potential, the high potential that they are, they don't grow into that potential, you know what I'm saying, people, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and crack this motherfucking jar open right here, this is that cherry gorilla right here, coming at you from Verano, you know what I'm saying, let's see what this bad boy's testing at, a total of 29.9. Damn near 30%, you know what I'm saying? Pop this shit open, that shit. Ooh. Ooh, smelly. This one's good. Like what uh, Cherry Gorilla is, it's GG4, which is Gorilla Glue number four, you know what I'm saying? AK. It's a GG4 cross with Black Cherry Pie. That's what makes Cherry Gorilla or Cherry Gorilla Glue, you know what I'm saying? That Black Cherry Pie cross with that GG4. You definitely can smell that. Black cherry pie for sure. I feel like the GG4 just gives it a little bit of a gassy piney note. But we'll see how this hits. Some people claim it's more of an indica dominant, you know what I'm saying, hybrid. Some people say it's evenly balanced. So we'll see how this is. We'll give you these close ups on these nugs right now. Has trichomes. Hopefully that ain't no mildew, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, look at this. Just a stem. Flat ass weed. This shit definitely isn't looking that great. It has some trichomes in it. It's pretty, it's kind of sticky, you know what I'm saying? But look at that. It kind of just squishes. It doesn't come right back really as much as it should. Very keefy for sure. Trichomey is decent. It's like a solid seven. I've definitely seen some worse shit. But like, at least this is a nug, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, bro, this is one of the worst ones. Just like the kosher dog that I had. I had this similar ass nug. Just a fucking stick with a little bit of leaves around it type shit. Honestly, bro, I don't not too impressed, bro. Not too impressed. You guys have been doing some shit. Hopefully this shit smokes good. Because it smells decent, you know what I'm saying? It looks alright, but, bro, they give me a badass. Bad trim job, you know what I'm saying? This is probably like a... I'm going to give this shit a six, bro. Seven is being too nice. Six and a half, maybe. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and grind this shit up. Put it on the scale. Actually grind it up. Smoke it out the bone, you know what I'm saying? And roll up a nice doinker of this bad boy. But, yeah. We'll give you the nice little zoom action here. Pop this nug up right there. Boom. Yeah, I lowkey didn't even put it on the scale. It honestly seemed a little bit skimped out, like a 0.9, I gotta say. It's ground up to be, like, really fluffy, almost to the point where it's kind of too dusty. You know what I'm saying? It might give me some troubles rolling up, but it has, like, a very berry smell. A slight little piney diesel. You for sure can smell the two crosses in there, which I really like. Sometimes one takes over on the other, but you can for sure smell that. Black cherry pie, cross with that GG4, you know what I'm saying? A little piney berry smell to it. Slight gassy in the afternoon. Yeah, it smells pretty decent. Let's go ahead and pack this bong. Hopefully it's smoking good and not rough. Hopefully it's flushed. But we'll see Verano. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. This honestly had kind of like a homegrown kind of look and feel to it. So hopefully it's not smoking like no homegrown. Get your motherfucking hemp wick. Nice clean bong. Go to Flavor Town, peeps.
Uh, it has kind of like a like a berry hay earthy taste to it. It's not that good. It's not as terpy. I thought like it, at least if I were to smoke like what it smells like, if that's what it would taste like, then it'd be good. But it doesn't taste like that. You know, it smells really good, but it doesn't taste like these syrups. They're a little, a little harsh. It was a little harsh. Not gonna lie. It was kind of clean. So hopefully this joint is smoking better. We'll see. We back, people. We outside with it. It's chilly, man. It's getting to that holiday season, like I said. And, you know, I kind of like it, though. You know what I'm saying? Just not really, not as much as the Christmas music, though. That shit's already playing. But yeah, guys, we got that cherry gorilla. Right here from Verano. Definitely has that black cherry pie smell and taste on the joint. You don't really get that GG4 cross, I feel like, on the taste wise. You kind of get it in the smell because it has a little piney gas smell to it, but yeah, I feel like I get more of that black cherry pie. Had to roll a little skimper, you know what I'm saying? I only took one bong rip. Usually I can take like two and still roll one like this. So they definitely didn't like give me like a gram, I feel like. They kind of skipped me up. But... It's smoking better on the joint than it is on the bong, that's for sure. I think it was a little too keefy, too grounded up on how it broke down. You know what I'm saying? A little too, a little too thick on the bong, you know what I'm saying? But... Smoking pretty good out here. The ash, is, the ash is actually pretty decent. It's a little bit cleaner than some of the other ones that we've had. <coughs> yeah, it's definitely smoking better on this joint than on the bomb. That's how it be sometimes, but... As far as the... As far as the high goes, I feel like it was a little bit more of an indica dominant high. Not crazy euphoric, more of a really just calming, relaxing strain, you know what I'm saying? Definitely stress relieving, but not like in a euphoric state like usually like Girl Scout cookies or OEG does. For me, you know what I'm saying? So slightly indica dominant, I feel like if I do smoke on this, it's gonna give me that nice like, you know, oh shit, I'm gonna take a nap type shit, you know? Maybe the GG4 turps pop out a little bit more on that because anytime you get a very piney, pinanine turp, you know what I'm saying? That's what the turp is called, I'm pretty sure, pinanine. That's usually very calming. It's good for anxiety and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Or paranoia type shit. Smoking on some very piney, turpy nugs usually helps calm that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what it's doing. It's giving me more of a really calming, chilling effect, you know what I'm saying? So I guess for me, it's a little bit more half and half, you know what I'm saying? But it's pretty decent. I'm gonna give it a solid seven, man. It was it was a six. <coughs> <coughs> the the fucking bag appeal, the looks on the nug were not good. Definitely was a six, you know what I'm saying? How it looked. Broke down, eh, alright. Smell was pretty good actually. The turps on it were decent. But yeah, smoking better on the joint. Still not crazy white ash, but still better than some. I'm gonna give it a solid seven, you know what I'm saying? Solid seven for sure. It is decent. I'm gonna smoke this bad boy down to the stinger. You guys already know what it is. If you smoked on this cherry gorilla, it was decent yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Definitely had some better batches before, but if you guys smoked on this cherry gorilla or some other Verano strains, let me know what you guys think about them or what strains you guys smoked. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna smoke this bad boy down to the singer. You already know what it is. And I'll catch you in the next motherfucking review, the next episode. There's only a few left before we get down to. Before I break it down for you, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> <coughs> and. <coughs> on that note when i do break it down i'm actually probably gonna go on live so i'm gonna post when exactly what day and everything but i'm probably gonna go live and break it down it's gonna be a little bit easier 
I'm saying? That way you guys can kind of interact with me too. You know what I'm saying? Be like, what? That's what you think? I'll be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what I think type shit. Actually, I'll say it to you. So I'll be live. I don't have to type it out. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It'll be kind of way we interact and what. I'm gonna place everything, you know what I'm saying? You guys can kind of be in the chat, be like, okay, I see you, you know what I'm saying? We'll probably take some dabs and shit like that. So definitely actually gonna do put it on live now that I think about it. For the end of my submissions to tell you what I think about everything. But yeah, guys, smoke this shit down. Hope you guys really enjoyed the review. Catch me in the next motherfucking episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe with the post notification bell on, you know what I'm saying? And share my shit if you really like it, you know what I'm saying? If y'all really fucking with me, tell your homies about me, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your grandma, tell your neighbor, tell your motherfucking mailman, you know what I'm saying? I'm out.